Investigation to the murders of a Simpsonville couple came to a violent end on Monday. Deputies say the suspect took his own life when they tried to arrest him. 7 News' is Chloe Salsameda is outside the Greenville County Sheriff's Office with the latest on that. Chloe, we've learned that the suspect did know that couple. Yeah, Gordon, arrest warrants revealed that 57-year-old Jerry Yancey went to the home of Ansel and Alice Bushel on the night of June 15th armed with a handgun. He allegedly shot both of them multiple times. Arrest warrants reveal 57-year-old Jerry Yancey entered the home of Ansel and Alice Bouchon the night of June 15th armed with a handgun. He allegedly shot both multiple times. We do know he was a contractor that had made an agreement with him and done some work and he felt like that they owed him money. Yancey was not a licensed contractor in South Carolina. The sheriff told 7 News he believes Yancey may have been drinking before he went to the Bouchon's home. He called the sheriff's office before the murders. Um, it was obvious that he was intoxicated. The investigation led deputies to the Wood Spring Suites on Orchard Drive Monday. They found him inside a hotel room. Deputies knocked on the door when they heard a gunshot, uh, which changed things drastically. And everybody kind of took a position of cover, eventually getting into the room. We found our suspect deceased inside from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Neighbors told 7 News they were relieved to learn the suspect was no longer on the street. So our friends and loved ones are devastated the Bouchon's lives were cut short. I would like people to remember Alice as someone who just genuinely cared about other people. And I mean, it showed. Charlie Brainerd knew Alice Bouchon for more than a decade. Says she came into the pharmacy he works at the day she was killed. Yeah, she was her normal, happy, fun-loving self. I was really shocked uh, the next day when I heard this. Brainerd said Alice always had a smile on her face. The world needs a lot more people like Alice, honestly. People that do care about others the way she did. The sheriff says his team is interviewing Yancey's girlfriend to learn more about a possible motive. Live in Greenville, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.